Let's take a little time in this video to learn how to name epoxides. Let's jump right in. Epoxides are small little ether rings with three atoms in it. So this is an epoxide. And there are three main ways of naming epoxides. One thing, one way to name them is to think about the double bond compound that we use to make epoxides. And if we remember we can take an alkene, MCPBA, and we can turn that into an epoxide. So one way to name epoxides, maybe the more technical way of naming them, is to take the alkene you used to make the epoxide, so this is cyclo pentene. Take the alkene that you're using to make the epoxide and then you just write the word oxide on the end. So this is cyclopentene oxide. It's the oxide, the epoxide, the oxide made from cyclopentene. So let's do this again. If I take this double bond and I make this epoxy compound, this epoxy, this epoxide, this is propene. So this would be propene oxide. Or you can remember the oxide made from propene. So that's one way to name it. Alkene oxide. Name the alkene it comes from and put the word oxide on the end. The second way you can name epoxy compounds is by naming the epoxide as, an, as a substituent to the ring. So let's pick this one again and name it with a new, this new way. So this new way, what you do is you take the longest carbon chain, the base chain. So we'd have cyclopropane, oh, sorry cyclopentane on the end. There are five carbons there. So that names the this part of the ring, the cyclopentane. So now we need to name the oxy part. And what you do is you say the carbons. So if I number all my carbons, the epoxy group is on carbons one and two. So we could say one, comma two dash epoxy cyclopentane. So one two epoxy cyclopentane is the same as this compound. Let's name this one. So this is some kind of propane with the epoxy group on carbons one and two. So we would call that one two epoxy propane. This one would be 2,3-epoxy butane. Four carbons, so it's a butane. And on carbons 2 and 3 is where my epoxy is. That's the second way. The third way is a little... The third way is a little old school. So the old school way of naming epoxy epoxides rings like this. This simple epoxide, the simplest of them, old school is called an oxyrene. So if this is an oxyrene, this is carbon one, or the atom one, and these are carbons two and three. So what you do is you name the substituents on the oxyrene. So let's pick an oxyrene with Oh, let's put the two groups on here. We'll pay attention to what side they're on now. And let's put a CH3 on this side and a CH2, CH3 on this side. So if this part's the oxyrene, we put that on the last part of the name. And we have a methyl group and an ethyl group. So ethyl comes before methyl alphabetically. 
and we say what number those carbons are on. And I guess we'll give the ethyl the number two spot. This is one, the oxygen's one. And we'll give methyl the number three spot just to make the first number smaller. So two ethyl, three methyl oxyrene. And these are both pointing on the same side of the ring, both coming towards us. So I might put cis on there as well. So cis two ethyl, three methyl oxyrene. That's one way of naming them. I think the other two ways are more common, the oxide and the epoxy way. I hope that simple little video helps you understand how to name epoxides. Subscribe to the channel and learn more about organic chemistry.